you guys and welcome back to my channel to all of the new subscribers hello my name is Shantice thank you so much for subscribing this is just a glance into my life what I love what I hate what I'm going through all the above you guys will see um if you haven't already make sure you hit that little bell so that you can get notified when I upload videos make sure you follow me on all my social media it is linked down below and make sure you check out the did you know down below in the description box which is my baby make sure you check that out and yeah you guys let's just get straight to this video because it's been a minute so let's go so today video you guys i'm talking to you guys about my hair because i am loving my hair right now this is the first time in a very long time that i have been in love with my hair and just Doing it lately has been easy breezy. I haven't been dreading it and I did cut it. I'm gonna tell you guys about that, but I love the way it looked. And before you, well, while you watching me talk right now, you can see in the corner me doing my hair, how I style it after I wash it and everything, which I had washed it. I'm gonna tell you what I did. So I use my Cream of Nature shampoo, which I'm gonna talk about my whole process of what I realized in a minute. My Cream of Nature shampoo, which is the Ultra Moisturizing Shampoo, I use that. Then I use my ORS conditioner to help restore moisture back into my hair and continue to help the damaged hair, because I'm going to speak about that in a minute, which is in the back of my head to help that. And I also added my Via Natural Oils into my conditioner. I'm going to talk about that in a minute as well. Added those into my conditioner. And then I let my conditioner sit between 30 to 45 minutes. I rinsed it out. And this time, you guys, I wrapped my hair wet. The only thing I put on my hair was my Love Me Lottie Body Leave-In Conditioner and a little bit of pink moisturizer. I wrapped my hair, combed it out real good, wrapped it wet, let it air dry. The next day I woke up, I had to hold Diana Ross hair and Diana Ross had been popping. I had to hold Diana Ross hair and I just flat out my hair and I used my Cantu Shea Butter um, Heat and Protect Heat protection spray on my hair the flat on my hair and that's what I did to get this particular look but what you're watching is it's been raining a lot and then when I took a shower my hair got wet so my roots in the back was real puffy so I wanted to straighten those out and I got this look right here so that's what I did to get this look so that you guys know and yeah I want to talk to you guys about what I realized with my hair what's been going on what's been happening and all that and just give you guys update and tips on what I learned so let's just you know get right into it first and foremost with being in this whole situation that's going on um I haven't really been unwrapping my hair I just been leaving it wrapped except for when I go out to preserve my blowouts and if I didn't do a blow and I just flat iron it to preserve my flat iron that's what I have been doing you guys but obviously the last couple of days I go to the grocery store and stuff like that. I'm wrapping my hair and I go and it come out looking nice. But one thing that I realized first, I wasn't taking care of my hair as much as I would in the past when I first started doing YouTube was because so much has happened with my health. And then um, in another video that you will probably see before this video or even after this video, um, I had got had an incident where I had to go to the hospital twice. They didn't know what was going on. And for a minute, I couldn't really walk. Um, it was just a lot of pain and frustration, so much going on where I didn't do my hair during that time. But also on days when my arms was bothering me because of my health, um, I couldn't lift my arms to do my hair and I really didn't care at that moment with everything that was going on. So that's a lot of the times when I say I just didn't feel like doing my hair or I wasn't taking care of my hair. That was the reason why I wasn't taking care of my hair because it is a lot, you guys, especially with my arms. It's a lot. So that was the reason why I wasn't taking care of my hair. But now that I feel so much better and I know what works for me, what don't work for me, I have been taking care of my health, my hair. I have gotten back to myself, which is, this is me. What you see is what you get, the glam girl, that's me. So I have gotten back to that, you guys, and I have been 
taking care of my hair one second so I've been taking care of my hair and I realized during that time of me taking care of my hair I had so much damaged hair that I just needed to go ahead and cut off and not preserve because it wasn't going to grow back it wasn't going to you know fix the dead ends needed to go the split ends needs to go it I just it needed to go so that's what happened I ordered the Korea Clips because it was doing this whole situation that's going on on the earth around April beginning of April I think relax my hair and then we used the Korea Clips and we cut my hair I'm tired of looking like who did it and praying but really not you know looking so so crazy but I'm just about to get myself together and my hair is horrible my hair has never been like to the point where i can't get a comb through it i'm gonna show you guys where i cannot get a comb through it this this is my hair like my roots are so thick they are super super thick if you can see that I will link those down below because obviously I couldn't go to the hair salon which I really needed to go to the hair salon and get them to cut it but I didn't so I was like you know what I can't see in the back to do it so I was like listen mom just cut my hair and she cut my hair for me and my mother went to school for hair so it was no big deal um so she cut my hair and it came out like this and I went to my go-to bob picture that I love and I'll put that up here, minus the little three little scragglies that she has in the picture. I didn't do that, but I went to my go-to picture and I was like, cut my hair like this because this is my signature, how I wear my hair back in school. Even now, this is what I love on me, what makes me feel good and confident. So I cut my hair like that, you guys, and I love it. I love my bob, it's very easy to maintain my hair is healthy as you can see my ends are good I've been taking care of them and it is so much better I had to get all that so when I was cutting my hair I didn't realize how long my hair was because I honestly thought that it was going to be shorter than this but I love it it's shoulder length it's really cute it's summertime here in the south so it helps with the heat and everything but I love the way it turned out and I love my little bang you got my little height everything loved it so that was the whole situation me cutting my hair and now i'm back on my hair journey of growing my hair out and i know it's gonna be nice and long and beautiful i have not dyed my hair but i think i want to dye my hair black i'm shocked if you don't know um maybe two years ago i had did highlights i bleached my hair and did red highlights so i'm kind of shocked that they didn't come back you know, normally once you die, because I did box dye to cover it up. So I was like, I figured that they would show through eventually, but they never showed through. But I think I want to dye my hair because I want it a little bit darker. I want, I like black, black hair, you guys. So I think I want to dye my hair because I haven't dyed my hair in over, what, over a year, almost. Yeah, in over a year, almost two years, I haven't dyed my hair. So I think I want to dye my hair. To get it blacker and that's that but i'll tell you like i said the products that i've been using are my cream of nature ultra moisturizing shampoo and this is for dehydration and the reason why i've been using that because first of all you guys i was using my ors shampoo which is a neutralizing shampoo and it helps with damaged hair right so what i realized when our hair is damaged we use damaged shampoo obviously but after a while of using the damaged shampoo you need to stop using it and switch up and use something else to help finish correcting the problem so what i did was i used my damaged shampoo from january to april to help repair my hair and it helped a lot as you see i got healthy gorgeous hair right now it helped a lot so for three months out of the three months you wash your hair six times every two weeks you wash your hair that's six washes out of those three months that you use your damaged shampoo once you finish using your damaged shampoo those six months you guys you switch to fix another problem the next problem for me was my hair was not retaining moisture because i wasn't 
completely moisturizing it like I was supposed to. So instead of using moisturizer styling products, let's just start at the root. Use a moisturizing shampoo to help build back that moisture when you wash your hair because when you wash your hair, obviously your hair dry out. So let's use a moisturizing shampoo to add that moisture back in first to help with your natural moisture and then you can move on to other stuff. So then I switched from using my ORS shampoo to using my Cream of Nature using this Orta Moisturizer Shampoo and I love the shampoo. Like when I wash my hair, my hair feels so good. It is not hard once I come out and I condition everything and I'm doing my conditioner. It is not hard to put a comb through my hair to put my conditioner in. Even if I don't do conditioner, I can just go with just using this and my hair feels so good. So then I started using this. I used this from April up until now and I think I'm going to go all the way through to the end of July. July using this Oyster Moisturizing Shampoo and this is the Mango Shea Bar Butter one. I'm going to use, go all the way through and use that to the end of July and then I'm going to tackle the next problem. But in between me doing both of those, my hair needed protein, okay? I need it because I am relaxed. I need to put some protein back in my hair. So instead of doing a protein treatment, which a couple of you guys have suggested protein treatments that I should try, but I haven't tried them yet. Instead of doing a protein treatment, I got a protein shampoo. This shampoo right here is really, really good. And I love it. So I've been using this maybe once or twice out of that time to put protein back in my hair for me being relaxed, which most of the time is after I wash my hair, which this year I have only relaxed my hair twice. So I only use this twice, okay? So then I use this and that help with building the, um, help building my hair strength back, the, elic the elicity back into my hair. So I did that and then I've been using the conditioner I've been using is my ORS conditioner, which is right here. I've been using this. I haven't switched my conditioners yet because this is working for me. It restores dryness and helps with damaged hair. So this is helping with me and obviously mixing it with my oils. I only have two right here. So I use the tea tree one, the argon oil, and then I use the olive oil one. And I mix this with my conditioner and then I apply it in my hair and let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes. And that has been what's been helping me with my hair, why my hair look like this. So you have to treat one situation first, do that for three months, then treat another situation, do that for three to four months, and then move on. Start with your shampoos and conditioners and then move on to your styling products and different things like that. Also, another thing that helps as well, and some people may say they not don't want to do that, but for me, greasing my scalp, my scalp needs food too. Greasing my scalp has helped. I don't be scratching my hair. My hair don't be itching with me using my Blue Magic um, grease. That helps a lot, and my hair don't be itchy, so that works for me. I also tried the cream of um, Nature hair mesquite which is for dry and damaged hair and this is the blueberry kind this did not work for me so this is a no-go maybe you guys want to try it but this did not work for me at all so this is a no-go but then i also bought this conditioner which i'm going to use next after using my ors conditioner because this one is a detangling and conditioner for normal hair so this has nothing to do with damage or anything like that this is just to help soften and improve your mobility with your hair. And it has coconut milk in it. So I'm gonna use this next once I stop using my ORS, which will most likely be in the middle of July, end of July. And I'm still going to add in my argon oils in there to, um, I said my argon oils, my um, Via Natural oils mixed into my conditioner, excuse me, to continue to moisturize and help feed my hair so my hair can grow now like i said once i get out the shower the only thing i do is leave in conditioners and right now i'm not using no other conditioners except for this love me by lottie body i don't care what nobody say i love lottie body products they have the love me the moisturize me the silk me the illuminate me on um, what's the other one wrap me like i have all their products i love it i even have the air control which is control me. This is the only edge control that I use and I love it. It works for me. Cause I don't want it real matted down. I don't like when it get hard or anything like that. But 
this is what I love. I've been using this. This stuff works wonders. Like this is the best thing ever. It's for all hair types. It detangles conditioners, prevents split ends, add moisture and science, a heat protector, and it tame frizz. So this is what I use once I get out the shower and I go through this so much. I go through it, you guys. So I use this and I put that in my hair and then what I did this time was I added just a little bit of my pink moisturizer. I added this because it revives damaged hair, protect and conditioners. I use this just a little bit and I wrap my hair wet like I said but normally if I'm not wrapping my hair wet and I'm just doing a blowout I use my leave-in conditioner right here leave-in treatment and then I use their um what is it called blow me um blow me blowout um moisturizing cream I use that to blow out my hair which I think I have videos on that I'll link it down below I know I have a video on RS I'll link it down below I use that and I blow out my hair and this time since I didn't use that to blow out my hair and I wasn't going right into flat iron my hair once I unwrap my hair the next morning I just use my can to heat protecting spray all over my head and I flat iron my hair and this is how it came out so this is what I have been doing right now to treat my hair the oils what i realized i have to treat each situation that's going on with my hair one at a time i can't try multiple products at once i gotta try one product at a time see if that's working because obviously i know certain products already work for me one product it's the same thing as if you get a rash when you get a rash you eat something to break you out or you put something on your skin break it out you know it down one by one that's what the doctor tell you let's eliminate one thing at a time to figure out what the problem because if you eliminate everything at the same time you're not going to know what the situation is it's going to go away but you're not going to know what the situation is so with this i just tackle it one at a time one product at a time i shot it with my shampoo now i'm moving on to the conditioner and then from there i'm gonna go on with my styling products and this is what i'm doing for me and it's working i love it my hair is still amazing i use my wide tooth comb i still use my silk scarf obviously always and in my other video someone asked me but i put on um a wig cap once i wrap my hair first because i sleep wild sometimes tossing and turning and if my scarf come off this wig cap doesn't come off so my hair is always protected so that's why i do that but is that everything about me carrying my hair yeah that's pretty much everything that i've been doing to care for my hair and revive my hair and this is how i got it looking like this you guys and i am loving my hair loving the way it looks so i just wanted to share that with you guys and let you guys know this is what's working for me and how i figure out what my problems was and how i got my hair back healthy without having to do a whole big chop because one i'm relaxed and if i was going to do a big chop i wasn't going to relax my hair no more just be honest with you because at one point my hair was just shedding like crazy and that's another thing the shedding has slowed down a lot i showed y'all hair and um the clip that um you see i'll put it up again in that clip my hair was shedding but it's not shedding as much now in the shower when i wash it it do shed a good amount but not as much as it was so what i'm doing is really really working and also if you don't want to use drugstore products you don't have to use drugstore products you can use whatever products you want to but for me i'm using drugstore products because one my hair is relaxed and a lot of relaxed products are shelf sold at drugstores obviously i can use high-end products but this is what i want to use the products that i love that smell good for me and it works for me don't sleep on drugstore products that's all i'm gonna say because a lot of people you know tend to sleep on drugstore products don't sleep on drugstore products they just because they're in a drugstore don't mean they're not good products okay let's just say that but this is what works for me this is what's going on i know my voice sounds a little crazy my voice has been all over the place at one point i couldn't really even talk like if i go to yell right now my voice would literally chop and cut off and stuff like that so i'm not sick or anything i just don't know what's going on i guess me talking a lot but 
this is it you guys what's going on with my hair i wanted to share that with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye you guys